So obviously he has that competitive competitive energy. You know, grow personally um, in my business. And my I've been very blessed to have the best partner ever. I've just continue to grow and build. Um, meaning. Am I feeling alive in my purpose? I always remember Bible said my brother, having your purpose. Hello, Empower Nation. Welcome to Empower Her Money Podcast. I'm your host, Angela Duncan. Today's episode is definitely a unique one, first of its kind. I am interviewing seven different ladies. Yes, while on board a cruise ship on the way to Mexico, I am interviewing seven dining divas, each of them with their own stories, their own tips, and their own inspirational advice for you. Check out today's episode. Hi, ladies. I am super excited as I recently launched Empower Her Money podcast, where I get to interview amazing women like you all, and we talk about money and business. So we are here on Celebrity Cruises, sitting here at an amazing dinner, and I have a question for each of you so that we can talk more about money and business because each of you have your own story, and I would love for you to share it with my audience. So Kelly, I'm going to start with you. We were we're talking about this earlier you are like super competitive I would love to know where does that start where does it come from and why is it important to you so basically it starts with my bloodline right so I come from a political family my uncle was the mayor for seven years so obviously he has that competitive competitive energy so as a, a kid I grew up seeing him and his competitive energy and it brought me to where I am today um, I just always like to be number one and I never give up and that's the first thing that they teach you and think and grow rich. So yeah, yeah that's one that, of that no, that no quitters mentality. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely love that. Failure is not an option. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it. <laughs> Ingrid, we recently had the opportunity to talk quite a bit about your story. I love what you were telling me earlier. I would like for you to tell us a little bit more about how you joined Dining Divas and how your life has changed since then. So how I joined Dining Divas was really a blessing and God's plan. Uh, I met Christine um, about uh, almost two years ago um, after my daughter had passed away from cancer. Uh, we shared, you know, um, a relationship together and started building and talking. And she saw a lot of strength in me and a lot of grit. And she was really compelled with my story and whatnot. And uh, she invited me to come and share this experience with great women that to help me go through the healing process. So since I've been on the show, um, it's been, like I said, a blessing uh, to be around beautiful, empowering women to help you know grow personally um, in my business and my life. And I'm really excited just to be here and, and to share this opportunity with you guys and continue to grow. Awesome. Thank you. Tomorrow. So, okay. so, yeah. so if we were in a room with 10 people, probably half of them have a real estate license. But I feel like you have done something much different with your company. Where did the idea come from? And talk a little bit about that. So, uh, good, good question. Yeah, a lot of us are realtors. Um, I actually, I have a different passion for real estate than a lot of people. I've been investing and, and just dabbling in real estate for most of my life. Like, I really love real estate. I really love food. I really love travel. So there's there's some things that I really have a passion for. My real estate career actually started with vacation rental management. So I started my company in 2018, and it's continued to grow and build. I got my license in, uh, what was it, 2020? Um, and so... I've just continued to grow and build, and so now we have houses, houses, yachts, uh, jets, um, and it's just continued to grow. I look for different ways of doing real estate, so although I love helping that first-time home buyer find their house, I also love helping investors find, you know, very profitable investments um so really whatever your real estate need is whatever your real estate desire is i love to get into that and have fun with it yeah and i love that real estate is not just about a house for you correct yeah, yeah. so yeah. yes thank you christine this mm -hmm. is an incredible production mm -hmm. there's so much that goes behind all of this um talk about how you built out your team to make sure that all of this is an incredible experience for us yeah teamwork is a the biggest thing, honestly, you know, I've been building teams since I was 16 years old, you know, and so I'm very passionate about finding people that 
we have a really good energy connection and it makes sense and it, it, it feels smooth like there's no like hiccups and, and, and butting heads and so like my partner Rui who's 73 years old and we've been partners for 18 years on Four. Se 74 years old <laughs> I keep yeah, forgetting still, gosh <laughs> well funny average. enough when he was 73 yeah. I was 37 so we just said like our numbers were opposite which is hilarious but we've been together for like 18 years and um and we've pretty much never had a fight. I think at most, maybe he's raised his voice at me once or twice, because I'm like his daughter's age, and he's like, Christine, you know, he gets stern with me. But other than that, we've never had a fight, and that is the kind of relationship I like to build. So when somebody is, um, you know, just aggressive with me, I, I kind of back away, because I I, nobody needs to be in an environment like that, and um, if, you're, if your energy's on the line, that's okay. It just means that you're just not for each other, and it doesn't mean that you're a bad person, it just means that you need to go find your tribe. We all have people that we align with best. And so as I move around in life and I find people like Ingrid or Kelly or Tamara, these are, you know, Melissa, Adora, these are very different women, very different women, but I align with them well in different facets. And then I'm able to bring out the best in them. They're able to bring out the best in me. And then we can all come together as a team. So whether it's my cast or whether it's my crew, similarly, my crew is amazing and all very diverse and very different, but with the same kind of like, uh, what is their goal in life? What are they trying to achieve? Where do they want to be? Do they have that team mentality? Do they have that collaboration mentality? It's very important. Melissa, so you have Epic Talks, the number one networking event in Miami. Ooh. I've been to your events and you make it look very seamless and easy, but I understand there's a lot of work that goes behind that as well. So talk about that. You know, at the end of the day, it's having your purpose and vision clear. When you have your purpose and your vision clear, everything you can make it happen. There's no obstacle that comes in your way. You just see it and you go and attack it. And that's how I've been able to do it. And I do it every single month because number one, I want to create impact. Number two, I believe in what I'm doing. And I believe in myself. Nine putting something together like this. Talk a little bit about your team. How did you build it out? How do you create such an environment? Yeah, team building is everything, um, especially in a creative project like this where there's a lot of opinions and you know, ideas, you really have to have a team that understands how to collaborate, work together, understand their role, their position in each project. Um, I've been very blessed to have the best partner ever. He's 74 and we've been together for 18 years. He's my, my second dad and um, he's behind the camera over there. <laughs> and we've never even had a fight. Like I think once or twice he got started with me like, Christy. <laughs> but other than that, we just we just love each other. We we get each other. I don't question him. He doesn't question me. We know our roles, and we just work so good together. And so, in that spirit, I'm similar. Like when I find other people, like if I feel like there's a good energy and a good synergy and a good alignment, then I you know I connect with people. Like hey, I want to bring you in. I want to bring you in. And you see, everybody said that this table is very unique and different. Um, but everybody has a common, um, you know, teamwork, um, hey, I'm here for the collaboration mindset. And that's very, very important. So, you know, as long as everybody is in that, hey, I'm here for the better good of the, of the group, then we can all, you know, elevate together. <laughs> Dora, so you've accomplished a lot in your life. Mm. Talk about where you're at right now and what's important to you in business. Mm, thank you. You know, the most important thing I think we've talked about here is alignment and feeling like we all only have so much time. And so what is the highest, best, most leveraged use of my time? And when I say leverage, it is about income and impact. Who am I? To, but um, meaning. Am I feeling alive in my purpose? Am I lit up and surrounded by people that I love and respect? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Jaylo. Hi. So I have heard a little bit about the detail side about what goes into creating an event like this, but you've also talked a little bit of, about your faith. So how do you intertwine your faith and what you do in business and utilize your skills? Well, coming from corporate America for 23 years, it's, um, it was a big jump. And again, you have to believe in yourself. And I took a chance on myself. I went out, I branched out to becoming a travel uh, agent. And it was a huge change uh, from corporate America. But I trust God. I pray every single day. He makes a way for me. And I always remember Bible text. My grandmother tells me that the birds don't worry what they're going to eat every day. They know that the food is going to be provided and we're so much more important than birds to God. So I am 
not uber religious, but I believe he's always on my side. He always makes things happen. He always touches people's hearts. He always brings people in my circle to help me be profitable in what I do. And he knows my heart. He knows that I'm always here to help my clients. I love them and I want the best for them. So that's why I've been able to be successful in what I do, but always knowing who is bringing this to me and it's God, so. Okay, all right. Awesome, ladies. I really appreciate each of you giving back to Empower Her Money community. Can't wait for everyone to hear this podcast and for you sharing your tips as well. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Empower Her Money podcast. I am grateful for you. Please make sure to leave us a five-star review, like this podcast, share it, subscribe, and let's keep teaching others how to take control and be empowered with their finances.